in this video, we will be covering what you need to know about the Amiga Seamaster 300 meters before you buy. Welcome back to the Chisholm Hunter channel. My name is Harrison, as always. And a couple of weeks ago, I got a message on Instagram, the Chisholm Hunter Watches Instagram page. And the gentleman asked what he needed to know about the Amiga Seamaster before he bought it. So that gave me the idea for this video. And this is everything you need to know about the Amiga Seamaster before you buy. The first thing that you need to know about the Amiga Seamaster is how the colors actually look in real life. Because let's not lie, when you look online, the colors can be misperceived, they can be misrepresented. For example, the Amiga Seamaster seaweed or green dial doesn't really look that green. It looks honestly more black than it does green and actually it's a lot more wearable than online pictures might show. Apart from the green, which is that very dark, almost forest green, it's a lot more wearable than normal green, I would say. You have white, you have black, you have gray and you have blue. So let's start from the beginning. Let's start with the great white, which is the common nickname for it. Now this is the watch that I actually own. It has a beautiful white dial that almost looks like metallic white and that contrasts lovely with that black bezel. Now, because of the white dial, it does look a little bit bigger than it is. It comes in at 42, but because of the white dial, it's quite bold, it's quite bright. And for some people, that might be a turn off. So please bear that in mind when you are looking at the white dial. It is that little bit more perceived as that little bit more chunky. It is that little bit more, I don't wanna say flash, but it is a little bit more eye-catching. However, if you want to be a bit more discreet, this is where the black model comes into play. It is such an attractive watch. That steel looks so bright in contrast with that black dial and it remains highly, highly readable. Next up, we have the gray and the blue dial. Now the blue dial has a blue bezel also, whereas the gray dial has a blue bezel. So there's a little bit of color combination going on there. Now the gray dial has a blue rubber strap. It comes with a blue rubber strap if you, if you want that. And the blue dial also comes with a blue rubber strap. Now, amongst watches and watch lovers, blue is the best selling color, quickly followed by black and green. So blue is up there and I can understand why people buy into the color blue. It's a little bit more flash, it's a little bit more sporty, but in my opinion, it's just that little bit too blue. And the combination between the gray and the blue when you have it on the wrist, it's a lot to take in. But let me tell you why these two models are important. When people market products, they tend to market the products that draw the eye. So for example, if you're looking at an outdoors jacket, the odds are you've seen a yellow outdoors jacket and then you go onto the product, but you don't buy the yellow, you buy the black. It's the yellow that has drawn you in, but you end up buying the neutral color that you know will suit you. And I think that's kind of what these watches are doing. They're so attractive, they really are, but they're a little bit too much for some people. So when I was looking at the Amiga Seamasters, I firstly looked at the gray dial because of the marketing that I'd seen, but I subsequently went with the white dial. I was actually very close to getting the black, but I subsequently went for the white. And I think that's what these models are designed to do. And on that note, we need to pause this video to bring to you our biggest giveaway yet. This is the 20K giveaway. It is a Tissot PRX light green, which in my opinion is the most attractive Tissot PRX out. And all you need to do for your chance to win is firstly, hit that subscribe button. Secondly, comment with what is on your wrist today. And thirdly, head to our Chisholm Hunter Watches Instagram page and drop us a follow. Thank you guys so much for supporting this channel. It is truly heartwarming and this is my gift to you. Next up, we have the choice of straps. Now, the Amiga Seamaster range has a NATO strap that you can get or a rubber strap or a bracelet. Now, the bracelet model comes in at 5,100 pounds, whereas the rubber strap comes in at 4,800 pounds. And let me tell you why I think that the rubber strap would be the right choice for you. If you're using this watch as an everyday wearer, an everyday beater, taking it out and about with you wherever you go, the likelihood is you'll scratch the bracelet if you get the bracelet model. And for me, when I see one scratch, my kind of ADHD goes mad and I can't stop looking at that one scratch. It really, really upsets me when I scratch a watch. And if this is your everyday wearer, the likelihood is it's going to scratch. So I'd steer towards either the NATO or the rubber. But here's the thing about NATO. The NATO strap is what I currently have on my Amiga Seamaster, you might have seen it. And stylistically, it looks great. It looks phenomenal. But here's the thing. The Amiga Seamaster is a diving watch that goes 300 meters of water resistance. Subsequently, it's quite a thick, sturdy model. And when you have a NATO strap that slots under 
the, the watch, pushing it higher off the wrist, it looks even chunkier. So I would say, even though I have the NATO strap on it right now, it looks a little bit too chunky. Whereas when you put the rubber on it, it sits just perfectly. And finally, you have the fact that the rubber is actually cheaper, 300 pounds cheaper than the metal bracelet. So listen, this is just my opinion, but I would go and try them all on and see what you think. But do bear in mind that you might scratch up that bracelet or the, the NATO might make it look that little bit too thin. And before we move on to the next point that you need to know, we have a pretty exciting announcement. The Chisholm Hunter watch box sitting to my left has finally arrived at Chisholm Hunter and it is now for sale on our website. Make sure you click the link below if you want to shop any of them. I just want to thank you guys so much for the support on these products. They took us a year, a year and a half to actually get them in and at the quality that they, we wanted, but they've been selling so fast. Like I've, I've never, it, it's unbelievable. Thank you guys. The next subject that you need to know before you buy this Amiga Seamaster or one of the Amiga Seamasters is about price increases. Now Amiga raise their prices every year. They raise them annually. I don't think they do it more than once a year, but they do raise their prices annually. Now the last price increase from Amiga was 5%, but brands in the industry have been known to raise them as much as 10%. So these Amigas, they're not gonna get less valuable. By the way, I feel like I need to say it isn't just Amiga that are increasing their prices. All the big boys, all the big hitting brands do this. Tudor, uh, Rolex, AP, Patek, Vacheron, the list goes on and on and on. Everybody is increasing their prices incrementally because of a variety of different reasons. So these Amiga Seamasters will go up in value. Next up is a point that you'll probably know, but it's a point that I'm going to cover because I think it's really important, especially in the world of Amiga. So I'm going to cast your mind back to 1995, to James Bond's GoldenEye. This is the movie where the official collaboration between Amiga and James Bond began. And this is a huge deal for most people. And there's a couple of reasons why it's a huge deal, but one in particular is the sentimental value that people put on James Bond. For example, a big part of why I got my Amiga is because when I look at my Amiga, I'm reminded of watching James Bond with my dad. Aside from that, James Bond's just a pretty cool bloke overall. Now in most movies, in most cases, James Bond's, not James Bond, Amiga release a limited edition. For example, if you cast your mind back to about a month or two ago, you had that blue James Bond special edition for the 60th anniversary. Now that was an awesome piece. Now James Bond is normally seen wearing these sporty Amiga Seamasters. And actually because of this collaboration, because of the sentimental value that people put on these watches and also the rarity of these limited editions, sometimes special edition watches, they do go up in value. So they're pretty cool watches. Next up, we are going to cover three points very, very quickly. Firstly, we're going to cover the fact that the movement in this model is COSC and METAS certified. For the price, that is pretty damn incredible. Next up, we're going to talk about something that's a bit like Marmite to a lot of people. We're going to talk about the skeletonized hands. So if you look at the hands, uh, the minute and the hour marker on this watch, they are both skeletonized, meaning you can see through them. It's kind of just like the bare bones of the hands. Now, some people hate this. Some people really, really love it. It's not for me to decide, but it's just for me to tell you. Finally, we have this little notch just here to the left-hand side of the watch at around about the 10 o'clock mark. And if you've ever wondered what this is, well, today is your lucky day. It is a helium escape valve for when you are diving with this model, because this is a diving watch. Now, there's a lot of controversy in the industry about this helium escape valve. Some people love it, some people really hate it. Personally, I love it, and let me tell you why. When you look at a Rolex Submariner, Tag Heuer Aquaracer, Longines, Hydra Conquest, they all have a similar aesthetic and similar style and from a distance can be confused as each other. But when you see this, when you see that iconic helium escape valve, you know it's an Amiga. And these are just a couple of things that I think that you should know before you buy that Amiga Seamaster. I'm just trying to help you as much as possible with your watch journey. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, if you learned a little something, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It honestly helps more than you know. And the bigger this community gets, the better the watches that we can get in will be. I'll see you soon.